Guys, so what's up? Um, it's been a while since I put out a video, but um, this is a search and destroy match, and the reason I haven't put out a video is I finally got done moving. So you know that took a while to get everything situated and the internet back up and running. But here you guys go, and um, the topic we're going to talk about today is teamwork. Um, I I put this in the top, probably top three for most important. Um. I don't know what category you put it in, strategy or so on and so forth, but this would probably be in the top three most important to improve your gameplay. Um, I get a lot of people that say, you know, I play with my friends all the time and that's why I don't do well. Well, um, what, what I want to get to is that um, it doesn't really matter who you're playing with, it matters how you guys play together because every combination of people has... Um, they're different types, and if you got, you know, six people on your team, and we'll use Search and Destroy since this game is Search and Destroy. If you have six people on your team that are rushers, or that are bomb planters, or that are defenders, if all six of you are one group of those, well, your team's not going to do good because you need a mixture of the different types of gameplay. So, anyways, um, yeah, so what you need to do with your. Um, like I get a lot of messages saying how do I improve my gameplay I play with my friends from school and they suck um, I can't really um, tell you but what I would suggest is going into a private match and um, basically going over strategies going over different types of gameplay whether it be domination search and destroy team deathmatch and find out how you guys play as a team um, the reason I'm saying this is because um, I tend to be a rusher, and as you can see here, we have Animosity Brutal, and um, I forgot who else was alive, but uh, basically they're they're advancing to positions in some games, in some games, just like that, when they notice they were, it's two on two, you know, you kind of sit back and you readjust your gameplay, and um, when you know what your team is doing because you guys have specific roles, it makes the game so much easier and it's it's gonna definitely improve your gameplay so um, what I'm getting at is if you have a group of friends that you play with and they're not all that great or you tend to lose a lot go ahead and go into a private match or do just const the reason I say private match over pubs is because um, that's you don't seem to be doing well anyways so in pubs so um, yeah but um uh, so yeah, and if your friends aren't, um, you know, grown up enough to actually take the game kind of serious, and, um, you know, they're messing around in the public match, maybe it's a good idea not to, uh, expect too much from them, you know? Um, you can only expect so much from your teammates, and, um, that's why I tend to always play with the same group of people. I have the people that are in my clan, and then, um, I have my friends Little Raisin and Peter and um, REX Rive and REX Impulse and so on and so forth um, I play with them more consistently than I just play with other people because I can um, I don't want to say I can basically count on them because I know their style of gameplay and how it fits in with mine you need to find a team that fits in with yourself so um, yeah, teamwork, find a good team, they don't even have to be good players, but once you guys know how to play with each other, it's going to make a huge, huge, huge difference um, once you get playing with each other for a while. And if you can see here, it's I believe 3 on 1, so um, we always check this spot, and um, if you haven't noticed by yet, don't waste a grenade throwing it up there, just go ahead and throw a stun and it'll blow up all the barrels, grenades are much more valuable. But, uh, yeah, so my teammate dies by a claymore, and I'm kind of advancing to that position that, uh, to see if the guy's, you know, moving around back there, but, um, he's not. So, what we're gonna do is, you know, we're staying, um, not close to the bomb sites, but we're staying in a position to where if we hear anything around the bomb sites, we're close enough where we can either prevent the bomb plant or be there right as he's getting up to get away from planting the bomb and that's what a lot of people um, have a mistake on is 
they'll camp right by the bomb site. Well, if someone's trying to plant the bomb, the first place they're going to check is right by the bomb site. And um, that's one thing you want to stay away from. So um, hide outside, lay down by a bush or so, some, something like that. But um, yeah, so we're kind of checking the bomb sites over and over, trying to find out where this guy is. And um, I think I find him right here getting ready to plant the bomb and uh, I wasn't trying to be a dick here but um, as, as if you can tell I have two kill streaks I have my sentry gun and I have my care package I wasn't trying to be a dick you know I killed the last guy ha 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 uh, I'm being smart um, next round is gonna be the third and last round if we win so it's better for me to call and have my um, care packages or kill streaks ready as the round starts instead of at the beginning of the round having to wait the 10 seconds for the helicopter to come in so on and so forth so I'm not really losing that um, whole advantage of rushing or getting across the map but if you can see here six and one oh Archer and Nutmeg they're here and um, Animosity Brutal he's nine and oh so yeah. so uh, I go ahead and call in the UAV because UAVs are really really important and help out your teammates a lot and um, I have a sentry gun and when I get a sentry gun and search and destroy I tend to try to have a lot of fun so um, right here I go ahead and get ready and I pull it out and I'm just gonna drop it and what I do is I kill someone with it and if there's no one else around I pick it up run to the next person and drop it in their face so on and so forth but yeah so the main concept of this video I'm um, find a group of team or teammates friends whoever you want to play with consistently and practice um, can't get that through enough you know that saying's been around for a lot a while you know practice makes perf perfect um, I don't think it makes you perfect it just makes you better but yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and sorry I haven't put one out for a while but thanks a lot